Hey guys, welcome back to Jack Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So we are going to do another first impression that I should have done a while ago, uh, but I did not get around to two. So I'm pretty excited about this one. It's a brand that I have never used before. Um, I believe I've gotten some of their products from Ipsy or BoxyCharm. I think BoxyCharm, like maybe one of their um, primers something along those lines. The brand is Smith & Colt. They are available at Ulta. This little mini palette right here I picked up around the holidays. I can't remember if it was before or after Christmas, but it was on sale. I believe it was 50% off. I think I paid $14 for it, but it is still available on Ulta's website at $28, which is the full retail value of it. It is a really cute little nine eyeshadow pan with a really pretty like glimmery white shade that I think will be good for like highlighting and accents. So I'm pretty excited about this one, but I think this is gonna go with kind of the aesthetic I've got. I've got my Avenged Sevenfold shirt on and I put my hair up in a little like bandana because I didn't want to do anything with it. So I'm going to co go with a kind of rocker vibe today. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. been rambling a lot. So let's just jump into it. That is the bad boy right there. I know I really, the, the thing that really drew me to this palette, I got two of them at the time. Um, there's a purple one too. And I'll do a separate video on that one, but I really like this like deep kind of hunter green. It's not hunter green. It's more of like an olive green, like a mix between a hunter and an olive green, but I really like that. And I really like uh, the peach shade next to it. So I think there's a lot you can do with this little guy, even though he's only nine colors. I do know that I want the focus color to be that green shade. So I'm going to start with that and I'm just going to do kind of like a wide blend on my outer corner. Wow. Oh, wow. That really, that did a good job. Oh crap. Like much better than I thought. Cause I did kind of like a, like a hasty rough dusting of it, but it seems to be packing on really nicely. I uh, made the mistake of putting on my eyeshadow primer like a good probably hour ago and so it's kind of dried down so it's making it patch in a little places like just a tiny bit but it's actually doing a really nice job of getting in there and, and blending out evenly. I'm just going to do really really dark rough with this and I'll go in and I'll cut it out with concealer in a little bit but I just wanted to give it a nice little base. Alright so it's very dark but it is, it is coming along. I'm gonna go in with this shade right next to it. I'm gonna do that just like a blend on the top of it. And if that's a little bit too dark, there's a couple lighter shades that I can go in with, but I wanna see how this looks first. It definitely is dark, but I don't hate it. I kind of really like how they work together. All right, I'm gonna go in now with just like a nice little brush and do my under eye. I'm gonna go in with the green and then I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna actually do the little purple that's down here at the very bottom and uh, go over that with that to give it a little bit more uh, difference in color. All right, I'm gonna go in and clean it up with a little bit of concealer and then we're gonna do some glitter on here and we're gonna do the really pretty white highlight shade and we're gonna see how it looks. Okay, so I did clean it up. I'm gonna go in now with the light gold because I think that's gonna work the best. And then we're gonna do uh, an accent of the little white in the inner corner and on my brow bone. And we're gonna see how it winds up turning out. I also, th I, th I think this, this coppery glitter shade is going to be really beautiful as well, but that's just not kind of what I'm feeling right now. So we're not gonna do that today. But I think there's a lot that can be done with it. The... All the shades have been really nice to work with, but oh my gosh, this glitter pigment is like super buttery and really spreadable. I like it a lot. I like it a whole lot. I'm hoping that the, the white shade is as pretty as this one. Okay, before we go in with the brow bone highlight, I do wanna take just the lightest shade and just kind of mellow out this color up top just a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan. You know what's funny there, I think the reflectiveness of the white actually has just a touch of gold in it because it's coming out more golden than I was expecting to. But I really, really like it. Honestly, like I like all the shades, but I think the glitter pigments are some of the best that I've used in a hot minute. Which does make sense because I did also pick up, I don't know where it is. I, a lot of times I put stuff away in my makeup collection and then I totally forget about it and then I'll like see it online and be like, oh, I bought that. It happens way too frequently. Um, but I did pick up like a, it was a glitter duo from them. It came with like a really big gold, like all over glitter that you can use anywhere. And then uh, like a liquid glitter eyeshadow, which you guys know I love my li liquid glitter pigments. And I really wanna do something with that, but I have to find it first. So it does make sense that they actually have a good handle on their glitter since that was one of the sets that they sold. And actually it is sold out on Ulta's website right now. That's how I, when I was looking up the palettes, I, uh, I saw it and I was like, oh yeah, I got that from them too. So 
yeah, I really like it. Let's see how it looks with mascara because that's always my, my tell of whether or not I really love a palette. But I mean, I, I think I'm gonna really like it so far. Uh, it's definitely something that I would love to wear to a concert if those ever wind up happening again. All right, and that's our final look. Um, it's definitely darker than what I normally do, but I'm I'm a fan of it. I really like the palette. I really like the glitter shades a lot. I don't ever buy makeup full price, so I think $28 is a little steeper than what I would normally pay, but um, definitely with the price that I per picked it up at, I think it was a great purchase, and I think it's a great palette. So even if you're looking at it and you're okay spending $28 on a nine eyeshadow palette pan, then I think it's definitely worth the money. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it was a quick one, nice little eye look, just testing out, uh, again, the Smith & Colt palette. This is the Sombra Shift Matte and Metallic. Uh, palette and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That definitely helps the page out a lot. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like what you see here, then definitely consider doing that as well. We're always looking for people to add to the Dark Angel family. We love you guys being with us on our journey and also getting to uh, interact with you guys and, and hear about your uh, your different adventures in the beauty community and everything else that goes on in life. So uh, I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy. Um, and other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day and stay girly with the Dark Twist.